Okay, Jed, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch them. Moments arrived for Luke Campbell. Time to deliver with your Vasily Lomachenko on everything you're always supposed to be. Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward ringside, Bernardo Asuna, our reporter, and Mark Kriegel. Tim and Dre, give me something to look for early that could reveal itself as to how the night will go. Well, you see the long frame of Campbell. Lomachenko being the shorter man, he's going to go down and dig in that body of Campbell. Loma early, he's going to start, once he finds his range, he'll start to touch the, the glove of Campbell. He'll start to faint. He'll start to get Campbell to react, to start the draining process so he can get inside and start to let those heavy shots go. For Campbell, Campbell's got to do exactly what he's doing right now. He's got to know when to fight, when to press, and when to box. And he's got to be on point all night long. I like that phrase, the draining process. That is often what we see with Loma opponents. Loma right now is downloading information right now, trying to gauge the distance, trying to see how far he has to step in to get inside on Campbell. Campbell's doing a good job of just playing, you know, you know, probing with his punches right now, keeping Loma honest. Tim, how bay. much of a factor is being opposite a southpaw in impacting what we typically see from Loma Chanka? Now, you know, Loma normally likes to spin around to that to that right side of his he's not going to be able to do that because now uh, Campbell being having an high, high, high IQ and being the gold medalist as well he's going to spin with them he's not going to allow him to spin this makes it a little bit more difficult to get around at that angle and also Loma loves to use as you were talking about the other day the leverage off of against an orthodox fighter that left elbow of getting to the outside getting almost the outside. swim moving pairing and coming through to the outside and getting that angle and it doesn't exist against the fellow lefty. As you say, downloading the information, the range finding, the calculating right now. Of how long is this guy opposite me? Where right. does that jab go? What is the threshold that I can cross safely? Right now, with all the foot feints, the hand gestures coming from Loma, he's trying to get Campbell to sit still just for a split second so he can sneak him with a, with a shot. He is trying to time him right now. Lomachenko is going to move in for the kill. Was up that southpaw jab. The inaction from both guys in this first round, I believe, is benefiting Lomachenko because this is his game. Campbell is best when he's punching, when he's jabbing, when he's check hooking, he's throwing that straight left. Right now, it seems like he's slowly getting sucked into the Loma matrix. Now he goes to the inside and touches Lomachenko to the body with that right hand. But I also like Campbell's patience. Doesn't seem to be unnerved at the moment. He's not unnerved. Real good balance from Campbell. Nice There's left a left hand, right hand right from Luke Campbell, and then he goes to the inside and follows it up. So Luke Campbell scores with a left hand here in the closing moments of round number one. That got Loma's attention. He hasn't thrown a punch since. He's recovering right now. Good shot from Campbell. And I assume with a nondescript first round, that goes into the book for Luke Campbell. Right. Here we see the left hand right here from Lomachenko. Hit him right in the temple. That got his attention, but he's a professional. He played it off, but if you know what you're looking at, you know that that buzzed him. Boom, buzzed him. That shocked him, and that buzzed him, and that got his attention. All the buildup of what you're opposite against, and then you get a confidence builder there at the end of round one. Campbell's feeling good about himself right now. He, you know, he knows that he won that first round. And so he's going to come out a little bit more confident. He's going to keep doing what he's doing right now because it's working. It's keeping Loma at bay. I know Lomachenko has two gold medals, but let's not forget that Luke Campbell has one. They don't give those away. You have to be a bad man to go and win a gold medal and represent your country. Luke okay. Campbell deserves to be here tonight. Interestingly enough, Luke Campbell won that gold medal the day before Lomachenko did here in this city. This is Lomachenko's return to London. Very clean goal. I think Loma felt the power of Campbell. He's kind of respecting him at the moment. He's not just darting in. 
He's trying to find the right time to attack Campbell. Campbell's being real patient and real precise with his punches right now. Remember, Jorge Linares is the common opponent, and he scored knockdowns against both of these men. Campbell lost a split decision where he rallied late. He was dealing with the grief of his father having passed away two weeks before that title fight. Loma got to him late with a body shot and finished off Linares, but Linares was interviewed in the course of the past couple weeks by Steve Kim from ESPN.com, and he told him, listen, I've been in with both guys. I know what they are stylistically and athletically. I'm telling you, Luke Campbell will give Lomachenko problems. There's that double jab from Loma. And then he touches him to the body with a left hand. So Look at the footwork of Lomachenko. So I see what I see what Campbell's doing. He's doing what Pedraza was doing to Loma. You know, pick, pick, touch, touch, keep. Lomachenko thinking at all times. He's touching him with stuff. He's not trying to land anything really hard and significant at the moment, but he's just touching him, keeping him busy. Question is, what is Campbell's reaction when Loma starts to touch him? Which he's doing with the jab a few times here in the second round. Then he comes forward and ties up on the inside, and they wrestle their way to the ropes before Victor Laughlin breaks them. And you see how strong Campbell is. He kind of knocked Lomachenko off balance right there as they tied up. Fast jab off the hip of Lomachenko, and then a right hand trying to touch the body from Campbell. Lomachenko's ability to be angular to dart in and out. Campbell taking his steps forward now, working behind the jab. You can hear the Campbell chant going up. It is a sold-out O2 arena here in London to see if their national hero can pull off the upset. There it is. Nice attack from Loma right there. Actually changing levels, going straight down with the left hand to the body in the, in the, in the jab up top. But a then nice he comes answer in. from Campbell. Right at the Ooh. belly comes in. Here you're going to see Lomachenko. There's the jab right there, very effective. But you see Campbell reacting to that jab and throwing his jab straight down the middle. You know, Lomachenko has to inch closer by using his jab. Of course, no, you can no, do anything no, you want. Can, but but you I'm not going to do that this early. He is getting back to business with that jab to the body to open up round number three. The three division champion, the two time Olympic gold medalist, Vasily Lomachenko. ESPN.com and Ring Magazine, number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Championship fights with top pedigree fighters is about the second, third, and fourth adjustment. Adjustment. Mm -hmm. Right now, they're still operating on their first game plan. All things look even. Campbell won the first round. Loma eked out the second. It could have went Campbell's way, but I gave it to Loma. Let's see what happens when Campbell makes an adjustment. And when Loma makes an adjustment, can the other person keep up with that adjustment? Of course, the two of you are greatly skilled at doing that in your careers. Lomachenko's trying to pick up the tempo here. You know, he came out kind of fast. I know he's, he's, you know, bobbing and weaving, probing and things. But he hasn't been able to establish an offense just yet because he's not using his jab enough. When he uses the jab, he's able to get inside the long reach of Campbell. When he tries to leap in, Campbell takes a half step back and touches him and makes him pay. Exactly, and then Lomachenko pulls straight out like that. Campbell followed him with the looping shot, that looping left hand. The inside, and Fleury nice. from Campbell has to take advantage of those moments where he can get the attention of the judges, where he can get a reaction from the crowd, and he can make Lomachenko know that he's here for a challenge. Oh, he snaps his head back. Lomachenko now gets to the inside and lands another left hand. Here come those bursts of success from Lomachenko. Halfway through round number three. So those are small moves right there that Loma pushed Campbell's arm off of him. Yeah. He's trying to be dominant. Campbell has to meet force with force and let Loma know that, no, no, you're not going to be the dominant one, and I'm going to be the dominant one. Even if the referee has to warn you, make sure you maintain respect at all times. And that's what's confounding for so many for a guy who is a natural featherweight, a guy who's typically always smaller fighting at 135 pounds, how he can have that physical presence and prowess.
Loma just waiting on his opportunity to pounce on Campbell. Anytime Campbell has a low, look for Lomachenko. Nice uppercut by Campbell. Beautiful, Beautiful shot. shot. Good right work here. on the inside. And then Loma comes back with two jabs. Campbell Very entertaining third round, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Campbell didn't get caught up in the movements of Loma. He waited for him to stop. Boom. Shot a straight left. It was almost right like a half it. straight, half up. Mm. See a you nice little sequence from Lomachenko right there. Nothing too much, but he's starting to press in a little bit. He's trying to unnerve Campbell like we talked about earlier. Yep. Good body shot landed right there, but credit to Campbell. Even though he got hit right there, he stayed calm. He didn't get too excited. Campbell ahead on total punch connects so far. He's also thrown more punches. Landing Lomachenko 26 to 21, out throwing him 90 to 78 according to CompuBox. Campbell right now is just being real technical right now. He's not looking to, you know, take a big chance, a big gamble on throwing a big bomb. He's just staying tight underneath himself, using the jab, probing every now and then, and landing some combinations. Go. As Lomachenko depends on defense. Loma still trying to get inside right now. That's where he needs to be to be successful. Campbell's not cooperating at the moment. Mm. Tried to come with that left uppercut again. He landed that, that uppercut to the body. Vicious. So success with the uppercut now in the third round and here in the fourth round. Loma charging to the inside. There's that angle he always gives. And he lands the right hand to the body. And then snaps the southpaw jab off the hip. So angular, and in doing so, the reach really doesn't matter when the footwork can close the distance with the angle off to the side. That's right. But you see not a lot of wasted punchings from Loma. Very precise with his punching. And when he lands, he wants it to be effective. Campbell is doing a great job right now, even though Loma will have moments where he wants to pick it up, and he will have some moments. He's Vasily Lomachenko. But Campbell is staying under his legs. Yes. He's always in a position to punch. Just in case Loma mm. is in range, he can do just what he just did right there. And there is that looping left hand again from Luke Campbell. Remember, that's how he won the first round, scoring with that left hand in the closing moments of round number one. This is still a 50-50 affair. Loma's having some moments. Campbell's having some moments. And I still believe neither fighter has made the second adjustment yet. Not yet. Good body shot right there from Campbell. I like the move with the elbow. You're not trying to be dirty, but you need to get respect. Let the referee warn you. This is a fight. I don't think Campbell tried to hit him with the elbow. He just tried to get Loma off of him. Body shot mm. from Lomachenko. Left hand comes into the body. Tried to come with a vicious right hook and just missed. Up jab, and then a left hand from Campbell. This has been an entertaining world title fight so far. Lomachenko slows down too. He's not immune to the laws of, uh, of the body. Shane McGuigan, the trainer of Luke Campbell, and 31 years old. A couple years ago, he was the Boxing Writers Association Trainer of the Year. And he was very confident with his charge and the way they came into this championship fight. So they had a beautiful camp. He says he sees some wear and tear and some tiring with Lomachenko. And they think they are going to pull off the huge upset tonight. Round number five here from London. In that last round, the fourth round, Lomachenko enjoyed a 17-12 Connect advantage. That five and a half inches reach advantage is definitely giving Lomachenko some problems on the outside. Every now and then he'll slip something in on it to the body of Campbell, but not too often. Bernardo, what are you hearing out of the corner of Lomachenko? And it's only Lomachenko said, be patient. Don't try to go out there and knock him out. Let him come to you and just box him until the opportunity opens up for you. 
And Tony Lomachenko, the 55 year old father of Vasily, he's also been a two time trainer of the year award winner. A lot of these shots that Campbell's hitting Lomachenko with, he's feeling the flush, the sweat is flying off of Loma's head, and if he's not hurt, he's certainly buzzed. Mm. He left time right there. Again. But then he got to be a, he got to be weary of the you know the, the fire coming back from Loma. I'm trying to close that gap. Well, all that energy, he's trying to burn him. That's he's the technical. That's right the now. technical pressure we talked about earlier. I love that phrase, the technical pressure, not just the raw aggression of a come forward puncher or brawler, but somebody with even what he's doing just with his mm. footwork, even if he doesn't throw a punch, is wearing you down. Then he does that. Comes in with the left hand to the body and goes upstairs with it. Closes the gap and Campbell digs to the body with a left hand of his own. But Campbell's doing the right thing. He's not allowing Loma to unnerve him for the most part. He's staying under his legs and I can't say that enough. When he's under his legs, he's in position to punch. That way he can get his shots off when Loma's done or hit Loma in between his punches. And I like what Campbell's doing when, once Lomachenko gets in the inside. He's tying him up. He's not allowing Lomachenko to work in there. Left hand to the body from Lomachenko. Final half minute of round number five. There's that left hand from Campbell. He has found some success with it so far tonight. Snap jab. Lands flush from Lomachenko. Leaves some very close round. Short left hand on the inside. Then he goes to the belt line. Now he closes the gap. Goes to the body. Campbell in trouble for a moment. Lomachenko knows it. End of the round coming. And the champ's on the attack. Here we see Loma prodding with the right hand. Boom. Straight left to the chin of Campbell. Campbell took it well within the body that shot. Body. He didn't take that well. Drove him to the rope. Landed, went right back to the body with both hands. That hurt Campbell real, real bad. And Loma's pouring it on as he should be with combinations to the head and combinations to the body. Nice little dip from Loma. Nice counter shot right there. And then the follow-up punches that did damage, extreme damage to Campbell. That's the look on Campbell's face after he took mm. that last body shot and walked back to his corner. I guarantee you he's still feeling that shot right now. Absolutely. Luke feeling that Campbell shot. is very lucky that that shot didn't land with 11 or 12 seconds left. That's how much it impacted him. It was in the final seconds of that fifth round, but a decisive round for Lomachenko with the way he finished and damage done. Round number six here of our unification fight. If you're Campbell, you had to have known those moments would come in this fight. Now, you don't want them to come every round, but you're going to have some tough moments. How Campbell responds to that is going to determine how well he does in this fight. So Paul Jab, footwork from Lomachenko. He's always ready, always angry, always, set. always yeah. set, capable of letting it go at any moment. He is as fundamentally supreme as any boxer of this generation. Campbell's not fighting like a hurt fighter right now. He's fighting, he's fighting like he, he means business. He's being very reactive right now and Campbell, holding off. I think Campbell's trying to protect that body. <laughs> well, he Loma. better because Loma loves targeting it. There he goes to the body again in the midst of that combination, including the straight left to that right flank. Yeah, Campbell tried to step back, take a little breather, and Lomachenko followed him out with a combination. You're going to see more of that. And now doubling up continue. the right hand from Campbell. Campbell still having some moments where he feels good offensively, but Loma's always on the ready. That's the downside of having the height advantage in that longer torso. That yep. body is susceptible to getting hit with body shots when you're facing a shorter man. And it's thin too, Dre. So you know his punches hurt. Get to those internal organs. Nobody likes it to the body. Wait. Of course, is how he finished off Linares, the common opponent here, and then he scores up top with a minute to go here in round number six. Lomachenko has now found download the information. He knows that Campbell is slowly wilting away and fading, and he's going to get inside and he's going to dig down to that body. The referee allowing some roughhousing from Campbell with that shoulder. Hasn't warned him yet about it. Here comes Good Loma. jab that time, snapping back the head of Campbell. The crowd trying to rally support. What you call a power jab. 
Luke right now in survival mode right now. Already. Now, why do you say that to me? I just see it. You know, look at his demeanor. You know, stepping back. I know he's fired a shot right there. Good job. Campbell got but, Loma's attention with both of those body shots that he just landed. But, Lo but Loma's going to get more aggressive. Good shot by Campbell right there. I think he still has moments. He's having and his I moments. I think he survived the end of the fifth very well. Well, this is how we have arrived to this point here in this unification bout. And early on in the first round, a field out round, there was this moment with the left hand late in the first round by Luke Campbell. And then you could start to see Vasily Lomachenko settle in. In the third round, snapping back the head of Luke Campbell. And then he had a lot of success in the fifth round in the closing moments. It was the short left hand and then eventually the body work. The body work. That was effective for Lomachenko. And Lomachenko is going to continue to inch forward as the fight continues and punish Campbell to the that body. body shot but right great there body shot Lomachenko. right there. But great body shot right there from Campbell. And he came back with another body shot that got Lomachenko's attention. Yeah, I mean, that's how you keep a guy up off of you. You hit him down to the body. Nobody likes to get hit to the body. And that's exactly what Campbell did right there. So here we are, round number seven, as Lomachenko is trying to stay the course for history. He is openly telling everybody of his goal that he wants to be the undisputed lightweight champion. Think of the names the last 50 years of Buchanan and Duran, and the last undisputed lightweight champion of the world, the early 90s, with Purnell Whitaker. The hero to so many who we lost this year. At the midway point, I still don't think either fighter has gone into their bag and made any real adjustments. Andre's scorecard has it 57 to 57 as it stands right now. Clear first round for Luke Campbell. Clear fifth round for Lomachenko. Love the work in the third round you did favoring Campbell. You could make an argument the other way, too. There's some course. close rounds in there, but yes. there were also the distinct rounds where Lomachenko got the best of them in the fifth, Campbell got the best of them in the first. A few of the rounds are clear. A lot of the rounds could go either way. Copy box right now. Both men just over 200 punches thrown. Lomachenko with a 72 to 60 total connect advantage. Let's check in with Bernardo. Shane McQuiggan told me, look, my guy's the bigger guy. His mindset is there. Now he has to show authority in the ring and continue to land big shots. Shane McGuigan, the trainer of Luke Campbell, who said this week Luke is going to produce one of the biggest upsets in the history of British boxing. That is how confident he was. He says, it wouldn't surprise me if Luke was to walk to Lomo in this fight and eventually stop him. Mm. And that plays exactly what Bernardo just said of the size advantage that he wants to utilize. Yeah, when Luke's out at distance, he's, he's the man. He's controlling Loma out at distance. Anytime Loma gets close, ooh, he hurt him with that shot. So he catches him coming in here in round number seven. Mm, hurt him with that shot. And Luke. now a sweeping punch from Lomachenko. Both guys hurting each other at this round. This fight is living up to all of it, isn't it? Luke is Campbell, believing. He's doing the right, right thing right by going to the from Lomachenko. Luke is believing right now. But Lomachenko just came back with a body shot, and now he's got Campbell against the ropes and a short right hook. What a great seventh round. Loma acting like the fighter you know him to be, rallying back after he got caught coming in. Uppercut comes in. Left uppercut from Lomachenko. Left to the body from the champ. Chasing down Campbell. Wow. There we see both fighters toe to toe. Loma lands his shot, but then Campbell's in position. Like I've been saying, he landed two good left hands. One straight, one upper. Loma had to hold on. Campbell did the right thing though. He didn't go, he didn't go straight to the head. He went to the body of Loma. But Loma came right back and acted like the champion that he is. Did you think Campbell was going to dethrone Lomachenko without going through fire? Absolutely not. Loma's battling back, just like Campbell is battle, battling right. back. 
We have a great fight on our hands right now at the O2 Arena. A 15 to 7 power punch connect advantage for Lomachenko in that round with the late rally. 21 to 12 total connect advantage in that last round. That was a great second half of that round rally by Lomachenko. So glad you've decided to spend this Saturday with us here, bringing you the action from London. Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward, our ace reporter Bernardo Osuna, and Mark Kriegel. Lomachenko and Campbell for three lightweight world championship belts. Campbell having the success, he now truly believes that he can beat Lomachenko. You see the way he's fighting, he's fighting back in spots. And now that distance, he's doing a good job in maintaining the distance with the jab and also the left hand. That looping left hand, Tess. That's what he started off the night with. He's that up jab from Lomachenko. And then what he's doing really smartly is just anytime Loma gets close, he's banging him to the body. The left hand from Lomachenko. Left hand to the body from Lomachenko. And there's that jab coming back from Campbell. The Campbell chance started up. Seven years ago, they watched him win a gold medal. Here they are watching him try to see if he can climb to the top of the mountain of pro boxing in against the very best. This is body work from Lomachenko. Both guys going down to the body heavily right now. There's that looping left hand against him. Looping left hand and also the body punch of Campbell. Anytime Loma steps inside, Good combination, including a short left hand on the inside that went upstairs from Lomachenko. There are times where Lomachenko generates power and instant impact from only about six inches away. Like that. Now Loma's found the mark. He's getting himself into a good rhythm right now on Campbell. Landing shot after shot. There's that left hand again from Campbell. Loma always ready to return. Incredible atmosphere here at the O2 Arena. All the anticipation. Seeing if their gold medalist, the homegrown Britain hero, could be in a fight like this. A good He's fight. acquitted himself well. Lomachenko trying to come back. Most of that block, that work to the body, and then digging to the body on the inside was Campbell. Short left hand from Lomachenko. Underneath right hand to the body from Campbell. Closing the gap, but not firing off as Lomachenko was more willing there that time. Final seconds here of round mm. number eight. Campbell goes up top. Loma goes to the belt line again. We've got ourselves a good one here for the lightweight championship belts. Left hand that scored in that last round from Loma. Look for the backhand from Loma. You know, occasionally, Campbell, he'll stick that jab out there just a little bit too low. And Loma's going to counter it with the straight left hand over the top. Loma's going to look to take the, the first half of this round off because he, he threw a lot of punches in that last round. Campbell needs to take advantage of it and try to get his offense off to take back some of the play. Bring up that jab, trying to turn over that right hook in that southpaw stance. The type of body shots that Campbell has hit Lomachenko with and Lomachenko has hit Campbell with, those stay with you for the duration of the fight. So I guarantee you both guys are feeling it right now. They're not physically at their best. Yep. But this is what Dang. championship boxing is all about. you got to go to the mind. what Anatoly Lomachenko is telling Vasily. He's saying, stay methodical. Don't try to go for one shot. Keep getting inside, work the body, and try to just keep working until the knockout comes. He well, was you know, working the body at the end of the fifth that had Campbell in trouble. Exactly. And then the final seconds ticked off, saving Will Campbell. And here we are in the midst Round number nine in front of his home fans and the chants and the songs are going up as they are believers here with what they have seen. And also seeing some of the best out of one of the very best, Lomachenko. Boys in the Desert said 
that the over under this fight would be eight and a half rounds. We just passed it. So Luke Campbell silencing some doubters there as to how they thought this fight would go. Well, Machenko, like I said, wanted to take the first half of this round off. The only problem is so did Campbell. Both guys are really, both guys are getting fatigued right now. And looking for the second win. Exchange on the inside that Lomachenko seemingly got the best of and then snapping that jab off the hip. Anytime you get hit with a good shot that hurts you, whether it's to the head or the body, you have the opportunity to quit, lay down and give up. Neither guy has taken that opportunity thus far in this fight. There's that left hand I was talking about over the top from Lomachenko and Campbell. Campbell took it well. And he's still game and still marching forward. Good body nice shot. Body shot. Coming and sweeping in with that combination that included the right hand. Campbell's success is out at the at our bay, out at distance. That's when he's better at his best. He has the physical attributes to be that guy. That's right. That's where he needs to be to win this fight. Mm. Nice try right there from Campbell. Great left hand. Here we see Loma doing his work. Nice straight jab to the head of Campbell. Campbell had no answer for that. And here's Loma just putting both hands together, but Campbell answering to the body of Lomachenko. You got to get your respect when Lomachenko comes in there or he's just going to have his way. I love those body shots. You know, that bags off Lomachenko. That's going to keep him from letting his hands go where he needs to be, and that's in the inside. Well placed body shot to back off anything. Back off anything. <laughs> Telling you. Campbell has the size and the grit. He refuses to acquiesce to Lomachenko. But as soon as he has the upper hand, physically and metaphorically, Loma comes back even harder. As we have seen throughout the night, 10th round here. And wipe the grease off the face and get back to action. So you don't see a whole lot of angles coming from Lomachenko. You know, he's not fighting a right-handed fighter, so. You, you know, brought that up very early, Tim. You said he's so conditioned to utilize to right. He's so conditioned to go right. The angle to the right, but you don't get that tonight. You can't get that tonight against a southpaw. Another southpaw. South You're looking at yourself in the mirror. Mm. Shane McGuigan told me in the corner, I want him to be on the inside. This is where you become a champion. He's got to feel the pain. So Bernardo with the report from the corner of Campbell. A lot of success is coming on the outside, utilizing the range, utilizing the jab. But you get to these championship rounds, you get deeper into the water here, knowing what's on the line. You want to get after it a little bit. That's right. He wants him to get aggressive. You know, these championship rounds, are, they, these rounds are being close. So he wants his guy to take over the fight and press forward and, and, and entice the judges in giving him the round. Listen, these are the championship rounds, 10, 11, 12. And when both guys are tired, these rounds can drag on, and fighters know what I'm talking about. But if mm -hmm. you want to be a champion, if you want to be recognized as the best, you got to go through this fire. You got to be able to be exhausted and still keep punching. You got to take the body shot and still deliver another That's body right. shot. You have to go through fire to get those straps. They're, they're not going to be given. You got to take them. As much as he makes it look easy in the ring with how skilled he is and all we've seen in his great accomplishments to become a three division champion, keep in mind, in Vasily Lomachenko, a guy that over a year ago is coming off shoulder surgery, yeah. that this spring when he scored that incredible knockout in L.A., he dislocated a knuckle with the impact of that punch, pushing back this opportunity here. He has some wear and tear. Well, Tess, he had four, four, pr pretty much four amateur careers, 400 amateur fights. There's a lot of wear and tear on him. There's an uppercut available for Campbell. You know, every now and then you see Loma dip his head down in the middle. There he does it again. And if Campbell can time him coming in, I think he'll hurt Lomachenko. I think after this round, Shane McGuigan has to do the Angelo Dundee when Dundee was talking to Sugar Ray Leonard, he was fighting Tommy Hearns, the son, you got six minutes. Six, six minutes, minutes can change your life. You gotta find a way to get it done. And that do you want it. That is the truth. 
How bad do you want it? Sometimes that's what it boils down to, Ted. He will have six minutes. Many thought he wouldn't have that opportunity. Father Anatoly, always calm, always in control. Have to take a step back, be in the shadows, never take credit for his son's success. And round number 11 here to unify three lightweight championship belts. Hold an opportunity for Campbell, a path to continue history for Lomachenko. Mm. Left hand scores. Lomachenko was dipping off to the left. And then right in that path of the punch from Campbell. And getting himself to the inside. I think Campbell has another gear, fellas. And he can't make the concession just to want to go the distance with the, the great Lomachenko. He has to push past that and make up his mind that I'm going to risk getting knocked out trying to knock you out. That's a mentality thing. He has yes. to separate himself, right? Separate himself. I agree with you, Dre. You have it 96-94, Campbell. I have uh, Lomachenko. I have Lomachenko as well, having banked a little more rounds early on. But you like that middle work of Lomachenko. It was excellent in the fifth round. But here we are, a close fight in round 11. And Campbell doing exactly what he needs to do right there. Be rough and tough in the inside and tie up Lomachenko and don't let him work. Lomachenko has to be mid-distance or in close to be able to work. Short left hand from Lomachenko. That was well timed. Body shot hurt, Campbell. And there he goes. Lomachenko knows it as he closes that gap as soon as he lands that punch. And then touches him two times with the right hand to the body. Goes right back to it. Tries to split the guard with an uppercut on the inside. There's a great body shot. And it scores the knockdown. Damage done. Bigger gas tank, Lomachenko. 50 seconds to work. Lomachenko trying to close the show here in round number 11. Up top he goes. Campbell's been so game all night. Now he ties up in survival. Curtin Campbell bad to the body. As he did earlier tonight, but this time he has time to work. Half a minute to go. Can Lomachenko do it? There he goes to the body again. Just got around to the back. Trying to close the gap. Combination on the inside. Right hand to the body. Just missed up top. Survival mode for Campbell. Circling on the inside. Lomachenko drops his hands as if to say, let's go. Let me do my thing. And the final seconds could be ticking away in a dominating 11th round for the lightweight champion, the silly Lomachenko. Commanding 11th round for Lomachenko. Look how Lomachenko put on this attack. Everything down to the body right there. That's where the attack starts. Combinations to the head and also to the body. Campbell felt that. He's in, he's in retreat. Lomachenko coming in. There the right hand to the body. Combinations to the head. And this is the finish right here of this round. Lomachenko trying to dig down. There it is. Nice little shot right there. Hurt Campbell and down goes Campbell. Vasily Lomachenko in that 11th round threw 68 power punches, landing 31. 31 power punches landed, including that left hand to the body. Here we go, 12th and final round. It has been worthy of all the hype. Campbell's been game, but Lomachenko has been everything he's supposed to be. 12th and final round. Lomachenko's going to go for it right now, fellas. Can he close the show? He's trying to. I think Campbell needs to be trying to go for it as well. Absolutely he does, Trey. You finally arrive at this moment. You've done everything to put yourself in position. Why not swing for the fences? This is when you need that change up right now from Campbell. The change up, a punch that, that Lomachenko hasn't seen is the uppercut. Sit on that uppercut. And I'm talking about the left uppercut. Catch Lomachenko coming in. He tries it right there. Talking about Campbell. If you're Campbell, you're probably down on the cards. We don't yes. know for sure. Lomachenko's 
you know, basically used a lot of energy over the last couple rounds. Campbell can press, and Campbell can let both his hands go. Yes, he's going to get hit, but he can get his in the meantime. Maybe catch Lomachenko with a good body shot or a head shot that gets his attention or knocks him down. He's got to go for broke right now. Don't settle for just going the distance. There's no more victories in boxing. Go for it. Here's your opportunity. Loma trying to corral him one more time, trying to cut off that ring. Loma's just waiting, waiting for Campbell just to sit still just for a moment. Then he's going to attack. Mm. That one strayed a bit low. Uh -oh. Lomachenko knows. He, he's like, no, come on, let's go. I look belt line. I'd like to see that again. From Luke Campbell, I'm going right back to the body. Both and final round here for three lightweight championship belts. Looking for that uppercut there. Tim, you felt the first opportunity. Nice Combination went to the body. Mm. Lomachenko willing to exchange. Closes the gap with a jab there. And now to the body goes Campbell, and in doing so, getting in in tight space, he takes two punches to the head. Then a body shot comes in, a short right hand, an uppercut from Lomachenko, and Campbell's in trouble, and he wrestles the champ down to the ground. Actually picked up his leg and tossed him to the canvas. Any way you can to survive, you got to do it. That was pure survival. Lomachenko had him hurt. Dominating championship rounds for Lomachenko. Scored the knockdown with the body punch in the 11th. And then this final minute of the 12th when Campbell was clearly hurt and doing anything to survive. Lomachenko's going to try to land something big before this round is over. Final seconds. Here he comes. Good fight. Great fight. Good, good championship fight. Lomachenko, wow. always fan friendly. Luke Campbell, give him credit, gave everything he could, survived at the end. But well, here's how we arrive to where affair. we are. From both guys, here we see Loma pouring it on. Luke having a moment right here, going around the guard of Lomachenko early. That got Loma's attention and let, let him know that Campbell can hurt him. But like the champion he is, Lomachenko fought back. Pushed back, scratched and clawed until he was able to get shots like that. And, and even the body shots that we started to see develop midway through this fight. Remember that shot the right rally there. late in the seventh yes. round. But it was a great seventh round because Campbell had his success yes. early in the seventh round. Back and forth in that action. seventh round, it was a 21 to 12 connect advantage for Lomachenko. Round 11 is where the fight was determined. And it was the body work from Lomachenko scoring the knockdown. With both hands. Both hands. Body Luke work. Campbell. Luke Campbell had to concede. Look at this shot right here. That can break a rib. That can take your wind. Luke Campbell just couldn't stand up under that. And then Loma gives him one for good measure he to the head, him. like here. He take this him. with you. As he was punching, he caught him with that body shot, Dre. Right? Fight for the IBF, Comey's belts. Ladies and gentlemen, Winner after 12 goal. rounds of lightweight action, we go to the scorecards. Judges Benoit, Roussel, and Omar Mintoun both have it. 119 to 108. Jean Robert Lane scores at 118 to 109. All three scorecards go to the winner by unanimous decision from Ukraine. Still WBA, WBA and ring champion, and now the new WBC lightweight champion of the world. Pound for pound, perhaps the best there is. The man known as Lord. London, known for its royalty. Well, there's the king right now, the pound-for-pound pound king. And he was regal tonight.